Hi everyone, welcome to Educate. Myself is Manoj Nayak and today we are going to study about the first chapter of the first piece of physics. The name of the chapter is Physical World. Okay, this chapter carries one or two marks in the final examination. Now, in this chapter we are going to study the definition of science and physics and the concept of scientific method, scope and excitement of physics, application of physics in the different fields and the basic forces in nature. Okay, let us begin with the definition of science. Science is a systematic study of anything, but here we define science as a systematic study of nature and natural phenomena, such as twinkling of stars, reflection, refraction, viscosity, etc. Okay, now what is physics? Physics is a branch of science in which we study laws of nature. All the phenomena in nature are governed by some laws. We study those laws in physics. All the laws and theories in physics are explained by some scientists. In order to propose or present the scientific theories or laws, they have to follow certain steps. Those steps are collectively called as scientific method. Okay. Now, scientific method has five major steps. Those are observation, controlled experiment, qualitative and quantitative reasoning, mathematical modeling, prediction and verification or falsification. These are the steps in scientific method. Now, these are the steps of scientific method. In order to understand the scientific method properly, let us take the example of Newton's law of gravitation or universal law of gravitation. Okay. Then the first step is, the first step is observation. In this step, we observe the natural phenomena. For example, Newton observed the falling of an apple from a tree. Okay. Now, the second step is controlled experiment. In this step, we conduct several experiments which is similar to the natural phenomenon. For example, initially Newton observed that apple fall from a tree towards the earth. Then he made a ball to fall from a certain height towards the earth. Then he replaced the ball by a, another ball which is of the same size but different density. Now, we must say that he conducted several experiments. But the name, the name says that we have to conduct the ex experiment in a controlled manner because during the experiments few times we may get injured. So in order to be safe, we have to conduct the experiment in a controlled manner. The third step is qualitative and quantitative reasoning in which we provide the reason for the natural phenomenon. Why that natural phenomenon is happening? Okay. The third step is qualitative and quantitative reasoning. And the next step is mathematical modeling. After the qualitative and quantitative reasoning, we have to put the theories or laws in the mathematical form. So this method or this step is called as a mathematical modeling. We know that Newton's law of gravitation is written as F is equal to G into M1 M2 by R square. Here the theory is expressed in the form of a, the theory or laws is a, expressed in the form of a mathematical form. So this step is called as a mathematical modeling. Then the last step is prediction and verification or falsification. The theories or laws which is proposed by a scientist is examined by various experts or different experts. Then if the theory or law is a true, then it is accepted. If the theory or law is a false, then it is rejected. These are the steps in the scientific method. I hope you understand the concept. All the best.